Today I'm going to be showing off some super experimental support for using Cursorless and Talon to write and edit LaTeX documents by voice. LaTeX is a widely used programming language for typesetting math, physics, science, and other technical documents. The most widely used command set for doing math with voice is what's called MathFly, um, which has a fairly long lineage. What I'll be showing off is, to my knowledge, the first attempt to marry MathFly with VS Code and Cursorless in particular. To implement these commands, I've basically just forked MathFly and combined it up with some new experimental cursorless functionality for dynamically inserting snippets. So if you're already familiar with MathFly, a lot of the commands should be familiar, but bringing it to cursorless enables a lot of new commands that you probably wouldn't have seen before. My goal is to take this fork of MathFly and upstream it into the core MathFly repo for now so that you can have one unified set of commands which work in any math editor, whether that be VS Code with cursorless or likes or overleaf or whatever. But enough talking, let's actually see what it can do. Document class article. Begin package AMS. Use package AMS math. Begin document. Browse. So you can see it's fairly easy to just insert a bunch of those boilerplate commands. No, now note those are using cursorless snippets, which is why they appear instantly rather than having to be typed out. Now we can use regular old talent dictation to just dictate some text. Dictate. This is a demo of doing some math using cursorless. Drowse. Uh, note that I'm using the uh, new extremely experimental Whisper integration that Talon has, um, which is currently on the beta. You have to ask for it special. I would imagine that that will start moving um, upstream, but it's still very slow. Um, but that's probably going to get a lot faster because there's a bunch of efforts to move it into C++, etc. But as you can see, it's great at punctuation, uh, and somehow it even knows the word cursorless and knows to capitalize it. Disk. Halt. Drowse. Okay, so you can see on the right, there's a preview. Um, I'm using a plugin uh, called, I think, LaTeX Workshop or LaTeX Studio. If you just Google VS Code LaTeX, uh, it's the first thing that's going to pop up. Uh, it's an amazing plugin. They have all sorts of autocomplete and the, some of their own snippets and um, the auto preview and they highlight errors, et cetera, et cetera. So really nice piece of software. Clap. Begin equation. Fraction, Greek alpha, next, Greek delta, disk. Drowse. So as you can see, the common MathFly commands like fraction work, um, but instead of using a GUI, they insert snippets. So if we watch that a bit slower, pour, fraction, drowse. So you can see it inserts a snippet with a hole for the numerator and a hole for the denominator. So you can just put, every, put whatever you want in the denominator and say next or tab uh, to get to the numerator, uh, to, to the denominator. So I could say num1, tab, num2, disk, drowse. And as you can see there, uh, it auto updates on the right. So the nice thing about the fact that they're cursorless snippets is that you can use them for wrapping and you can use even a custom grammar for it. So um, let's say we have this fraction here and we want to take that and make it the numerator of a new fraction. Place line over num3, disk. Drowse. And as you can see, it wrapped that existing fraction in a new fraction, left us in the denominator so we could put that there. Now, we, uh, we also support a bunch of big operators. So you can say, for example, sum wrap two lines pit. Inc equal num0, next num50, disk. Drowse, right? So you can take something and then wrap it in a summation. Uh, you can wrap it in an integral or you can insert an integral. Poor x fine, integral num i equals zero, next, num 10, next. Pre blue zero, ink equal, tail. Fraction ink, next, num two disk. Drowse. Now I also had a bunch of fun uh, making various matrix snippets. Um, so you can, for example, say poor matrix two by two, num one next, num two next, num three next, num four disk. Drowse. 
So that'll give you a full matrix. And then I made various things for doing various um, smaller matrices. So for example, poor environment. Drows. Note that we have a, a scope type called environment, which is any of these begin and pairs. Identity matrix four. Disk. Drows, right? So that's going to give you an identity matrix. Um, we have various flavors of diagonal matrix. Resume. Clap. Clap. Diagonal matrix three by three. Num one next, num two next, num three. Disk. Drowse, as well as scalar matrices. So the cool thing about a scalar matrix is that it makes it so that the diagonal is the same. Scalar matrix four. Greek alpha. Disk. Drowse. So as you can see, you're typing into all of those entries at once because it's a scalar matrix. And because it's a cursorless snippet, um, and it only has one... So you can wrap with things with multiple snippet holes, but... Um, for a scalar matrix, it has one snippet hole, so we can wrap with it. So let's say we have this integral here, and we want to make it become the entries of a scalar matrix. Scalar matrix 3, wrap line score. Disk. Drowse. So as you can see, because that's the snippet hole for this snippet, the whole thing gets wrapped in there and repeated. So how does this work? Um, I'll walk you through some of the code that actually implements this Python side because it's designed to be quite flexible. And as mentioned, it's still very early stages. So I'd love for people to hack on it and try to improve it. So the core functionality here is implemented by something called cursorless insert snippet. And so you can see that appearing in a bunch of places here, as well as something called cursorless wrap with snippet. And that's basically the core of how we're doing all these things. And fundamentally, cursorless insert snippet, you give it a snippet, which has various holes, which are just identified by a dollar. And it's full TextMate syntax, uh, which you can read about in VS Code, because um, they have their own flavor of it, which is effectively what we support. So you just put dollar and then the name of a variable, and those will become snippet holes. If you use the name of a variable twice, then that will get repeated. That's how we did that scalar thing. Um, and then cursorless wrap with snippet is fairly simple. You just say, here's the snippet I want to um, wrap with. And then you can use, you put a cursorless target there. And then you can say what part of the snippet gets wrapped. So let's see this fraction snippet, right? User.fraction snippet. And you can see here, it's just backslash frac denominator denominator, right? So we just put in LaTeX with a couple variables and that's a snippet. And so now I can just take that snippet inject, um, pass it to cursorless wrap with snippet, say what target to wrap, and then which gets wrapped, right? So when I say place air over, um, then that will put the target in the numerator. Here, it'll put in the denominator. And the way that all these, um, so the cool thing is because it all happens Python side, you can be extremely dynamic. And so that's what I was kind of trying to show off with all these matrix snippets, right? So these matrix snippets just get completely generated on the fly. Um, uh, so you build, we build up this matrix snippet with the snippet holes. And as you can see for a full matrix, we give the cell e each hole a different, um, variable name, uh, with an identity matrix, there's no snippet holes at all, right? With the scalar matrix, all of the uh, diagonals get this thing called dollar constant, which means because they're the same, cursors would just leave all your cursors there at once, and you can also wrap with it. So you can see like scalar matrix wrap blah. Um, and so I didn't show this off here, but you can actually say like square identity. You, you can say the bracket type. Do you want it to be square, curly, pipes, etc. right? So you could say pipe identity matrix. And so again, the dynamism of these snippets allows you to just generate talent side, what type of bracket, and then throw that across the wire to cursorless, which will then insert it. Um, so diagonal matrix, you can see we basically use a different cell name for each diagonal, but put zeros on the off diagonals, right? And so that's why you can just go one by one through them. Whereas with a scalar matrix, you get one cursor on all of them. So that's pretty much all there is. Um, as you can see, it's there's still a fair amount to implement, but it's already quite functional. So like I copied a bunch of stuff from the likes um, uh, implementation, which is seemingly the most fleshed out in MathFly. And so what we need to do is just sort of figure out what are the equivalents of these going to be in LaTeX um, inserted via cursorless. And so I think let's, you know, make it a group effort and uh, try and build out a really powerful cursorless MathFly. 
and then upstream it um, and just have one mathfly repo. You can use the same commands, whether you're in likes, whether you're in VS Code with cursorless or anywhere else. Please drop into the Talon Slack so we can collaborate on this thing, ping me, and let's get an awesome math setup working. Thank you so much for watching and happy mathing. Record stop.